What's going on, everyone? My name is Eddie, and today we're reading from Psalm 13. It says, O Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying we have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. You know, I love how kind of real and just human David starts off at the at the beginning of this chapter. Um, you know, to me, it sounds like he's dealing with some sort of crisis of belief uh, at the beginning and, um, you know, really questioning God for whatever it is that he's going through, right? And so um, I think a lot of us can probably identify with those stormy seasons in life um, where we're just kind of shaking our fist at the sky and saying like, God, you know, what's going on? Um, but I love that how, as we keep going through the chapter, uh, the tone starts to change and, and we can hear David's tone shift from, you know, questioning to pleading with God. And ultimately at the end in verses five and six, you know, David has a resolve in his spirit, you know, uh, in verse five, he says, you know, there's that word, but, but I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. Um, and, you know, I think for us, it's, a, it's an awesome reminder that uh, we don't trust God because life is always good. You know, we trust God because he is always good. And, you know, our trust can't be tied to our feelings or circumstances or whatever it is that we're going through in, in any given season of life. Um, but our trust needs to be anchored to the character of God and who he is, because like David says, you know, I will rejoice because you have rescued me. He's pulled us out of some things. He's been there for us in the past and he will continue to be there for us uh, in the future. So my prayer for, for you and for all of us is that no matter what season of life you're in, no matter what storm you might find yourself in the middle of right now, that you'll have a resolve in your spirit uh, to, to make that decision, to make up your mind and say, I'm going to trust in God because I've seen him come through before and I believe that he's going to come through again.